guys welcome back to the channel this week we're doing uh, a video on how I skin with phylon I float my phylon because of fear of a delamination issue so if you're not familiar with what delamination is then do a quick Google search on it look at some of the pictures that are available delamination is when you glue your uh, skin to your camper and water gets behind it and the glue separates from the wall and causes what they call oil canning or delamination. It makes it almost impossible to fix if it does delaminate. The advantage of not gluing it and floating it is if you ever have such an issue to where water gets behind and starts to damage your wall, you can always pull that skin off, fix the bad wood, and put it back on. This video was shot by a friend of mine that came to my house last summer to learn how to do it. So it's not like me holding a camera and giving you instructions. It's more of like a first person view, but there's a lot of great information. Thank you, Curtis Daniels, for allowing me to use your videos. At the end of this, there's going to be a couple of pictures of his build, which is a direct result of him coming here and learning how to skin. So without further ado, let's get at it. It's Curtis T. Daniels coming to you live from this place that may look familiar to you. I'm not going to say where I am, but there's this guy. Who is this guy back here? Oh my gosh, look at that. That happens to be Jay Poor in his shop here. And we're getting ready to skin this little over four foot wide, eight foot long. Is square this back. square back? There we go. Anyway, more coming for sure. That was exciting. Okay, here we are. We are on the uh, driver's side now. Um, we're getting ready to cut out a window and then around the edge. We've got to get our glasses on. And um, now we've got uh, masks. Our, our masks on. And Kurt is also putting his hat back on this time around. All right, we're ready to roll. Okay, edge time, masks in place, hats on, because this is where it really starts kicking up. Okay, man, this is Curtis T. Daniels and Jay Poor. We've uh, got the sides cut in, both sides. And we just flopped the T piece up over the top. Look at this now. It looks like a pretty cool looking trailer. Look at this thing. All of a sudden it went from this wooden box so now you can see what's happening here. 
So we squared the, the piece that goes from the front all the way over the top, got it square, tacked it down in the front with a couple of screws, pushed on everything, pushed all the, the waves and, and things out towards the back, so made sure we had lip all the way around the whole edge here, right up in here, which we're gonna hit with the, uh, the router here shortly. And then this, we're gonna put the trim on. This is gonna be exciting stuff right here. See how I'm doing it? I'm just kind of little bits at a time, little bits at a time. If the paper's not folding up on the lip, it's not right. And you want to kind of squish as you're going along. So the paper without a, the tape goes up in the lip. Yeah, we're going to peel the tape off. Right, but I mean but the, yeah. But, yeah. Paper up in there. So it kind of bends up that yeah, way. Yeah, it bends up the side there. So that means you're resting the butyl tape right up along this, this edge. And that's where you want it. You want it right in the corner. Because it's still got enough to cover the whole yeah. bottom, too. But you want it as close to that corner as possible. So it, when, you squeeze, when it starts to do the squeeze out, it squeezes over the edge. And it actually seals the edge of your phylon, too. Less chance of water getting behind the pylon. Well worth the trip. Alright, so you make sure that the paper, you get paper on there. Yeah, it has to. Yeah, I see. So, so it bends. Yeah, up. so it's right up against the, the very edge of the. Yeah. Hold that. That's good because it wants wants to flip. Yeah. I figure I'll let you do that one. Kind of get the feel. Get the feel for it because you're going to be doing it here shortly yourself. Yes, I am. Hold that end. Because once it sticks, it sticks. So write gonna, write that down. We only got one shot at this. <laughs> well, I mean, wait a minute. Let me get my glasses off. You'll have a that. huge mess. Is all you is what you're gonna want to actually go ahead and pull it this way toward me. You okay. Get it off the so I can get this lined up and get the plastic out of the way. Okay. Now, ooh. Okay. Here we go. Now let me. I'm gonna push here. We're gonna. Now you can go ahead. Okay, now let's get it secured and then we'll worry about the bend. Okay. Drill. Your oh, phylon's just... popping out of the bottom here. Oh, yeah. So. At the bottom? The wall, yeah. Where? The wall popped out from underneath. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because nothing holding it there yet. Yeah. have a couple screws so and right right there before you get going it's yeah okay yeah sure I'm just I'm gonna secure it back here push here So do you do you start and go one screw after the other? No, I'm just yeah. That's the best way to do it. Keeping always keeping an Mitch. eye on what's ahead of you. Right, yeah. Yeah, I don't need more screws. Just grab a couple. Wow. So exciting. This plastic is a plastic. it up with the back and then once you stick it you know what I mean it's pretty much stuck
just cut it out like here. that to where it fits. Per you know what yeah, I mean? Yep, yep. Where it fits perfect, and then this covers the back, right. so there's no water getting in there. And then now you could take a little dab of butyl tape and do. See how I'm doing right there? Just uh -huh. pull it down. I left that still. Right. So you can leave a little extra and just pull it down. So that way, when you put this on, it's sealed. Nice and squeezy. And then you and then you cough it anyway. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 So that with that. You're gonna notch this out to accept this. Oh. Okay. So up here, you're gonna cut this out where this trim is. You'll cut this part out. Yeah, but uh -huh. yeah, not this here. Just this right. piece. You want right here. this lip to cover the back side of this right. trim. Just so everything fits in there nice yeah. and flush. And then you, this, you just butt it right up to butt the bottom. Butt it right up to there. Uh -huh. Run it straight down. And then you'll when you and then when you start caulking stuff, anything that you have like this, you just you butyl just tape first. Yeah, right. Always right, cram right, butyl right, right, tape right, right. in there. Yeah, and with that stuff, if you take and spit on your finger. You can get it smooth as glass. It won't stick to your finger. The the caulking the caulking you shows. Yeah. Put the caulk on there, and it'll smooth as glass. Really? Yep. Yeah. I mean, you can. That's the caulk in the tube that we that you're. That, the yeah. stuff Proflex you got. Or yes, yes, yes. Okay. The, the Proflex is just as good. Novaflex is easier to work with. Okay. The Proflex is really thick. It never fully cures. It gets a skin on it, but underneath stays malleable it moves kind of move, flexes and that's everything. what you want that's why you can't use silicone from a house because it hardens right and then it can't move with the trailer got it so when it comes to that stuff it's rv only if it's not been on an rv i won't use it plain and simple now inside's a whole nother story use your silicone whatever mm -hmm. it's not water it's right. not keeping water out it's right. decorative but with the water don't use nothing but the rv stuff the rv stuff what I'm doing here is I'm, yep, I'm taking it in to get this hole started. I'm going to back it back out to drop the trim down. Got to make sure that your pylon's underneath. And it is. Here we go. Okay. And you just go ahead and run her home. Buddy. You can use a plastic Sorry, Bondo knife. Yeah. You know, anything plastic. Something's kind of rigid. And then this side, I'll show you what with the it just comes off. I'm not gonna go crazy with it. Because yeah, because you want to squeeze it. You I want it to squeeze, squeeze out. that. Flex that uh, yep. the bow. You're gonna wanna like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can then you can take one side, put it in, and you just take this other side and push it in. You're not pulling, you take the other end or either end. You're not pulling on it. You're not stretching it. Yeah, you're just you're just helping it in. And then look at that. Wow. Hide your screws. Gone. Sweet. I mean, actually, I probably have enough there. And this stuff here is is replaceable. And yeah. All right, here we go. We are. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I'll wait for you. Oh, my, got stuck on the fan. Get it? Yeah, it's stuck on the whole layer a little bit. There we go. Jeez. Louise. Look at that. Oh, my God. Wow. Looks, looks like, like a, a mirror. mirror. You can see yourself in there. Woo! Oh, my God. Look at that. 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 Changes a whole camper. It actually looks like a camper now. It don't look like a box. It was about like this one here. Just the Jeez Louise, look at that. That's it. Factory edge down there, I like to stick to. <laughs> well, I'm covering it with trim anyway, so it's not really yeah. a big deal. But look at that, Claudia. I can see your, I can, you can see your isn't face that in there. Else? Wow. Can you believe that? Shiny. 
That is just beautiful. Look at that. Shiny beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Here to the driver's side. Careful so you don't pull the... You should be fine. So it doesn't pull out from underneath the trim, that's all. At the top. And you shouldn't. You should be fine. This is the best part of the whole thing. It is. Oh my. I cannot believe how shiny that is. I am going to guess that this is going to be your job at home, huh? Yeah. Oh, feel? she's going to peel this whole thing yeah, I'll peel the whole thing off. Well, mine doesn't have scratches in it, yours won't. Mine was before yours, so. Look at that. Shiny! Sweet! This really looks tough. What do y'all think? <laughs> Jay, this is fantastic, man. This is just fantastic. What a treat this has been to come out here and work with you today. Yes. Unbelievable. It's been a pleasure having you. This has just been... Absolute pleasure. You guys are more than welcome back anytime. Even if... Next time, let's camp. Yeah, yeah let's do let's that. Do it. <laughs> we'll have our two black beauties and we'll go camping. Yeah. Oh, my. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Shiny. Now get that side... If you, usually you can get it real nice. Fantastic. This is so much fun.